Well, Bob, here we are in a dream scenario for Major League Baseball featuring two of their premier clubs in the World Series. And if you can for us, um, just set the stage for what we should expect to see, not only from the stars on the field, but off as well. I'm sure the stands are going to be filled with high profile names. Yeah, you're absolutely right. This is uh, epic for Major League Baseball. You know, first time since 1981, the two biggest markets going to each other, all those superstars with their Shohei Otani and the Aaron Judge, Juan Soto, Mookie Betts, you know, you name it. Uh, the stars will be out, out. You know, the last game in uh, Dodger Stadium, we, you know, we had Magic Johnson there, Michael Cooper, uh, Jamie Foxx, uh, and I'm sure New York's gonna be crazy too. So this is what baseball has wanted. It's what TV wants. Uh, you know, all the uh, uh, advertisers, everything else. Uh, this is our dream World Series. And this could be their highest rate World Series in, you know, probably a couple decades. I want to talk about this rivalry. So for a lot of young fans, even the ones who lived through the Yankees run in the 90s, they really don't know how deep this Yankees-Dodgers World Series rivalry goes because, like you mentioned, the last time they played was in 1981. But... Talk about the history in this matchup. Yeah, I mean, you, you're talking about almost like you know, the NBA, you know, would be a uh, you know, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, or, you know, Muhammad Ali versus Joe Frazier, you know, Club versus Pepsi, something like that. But yeah, I mean, back in the days, it was, you know, Reggie Jackson, Goose Gossage, you know, against, you know, Steve Garvey and, and Ron Say. Uh, you know, Tommy Lasorda was the manager. The last time they played, there was like uh, six Hall of Famers on that field. And right now, you know, you got a, you know, a, a bunch of guys giving their Hall of Fame from, you know, Aaron Judge and Juan Soto to Otani and Betts. Uh, certainly uh, the, the manager, Dave Roberts, for the uh, for the Los Angeles Dodgers. You know, maybe Aaron Boone one day, who knows? But I think, I think uh, Dave Roberts is already in. So, yeah, a lot of star power, just like the old Yankee Dodger uh, rivalry back in the day when they played, you know, three times there in four or five years. I want to talk about the legacies here. First, the two big names, Judge and Otani, both coming off historic years. That said, both over the age of 30 and still in search of that first World Series title. Who would you say has more on the line as far as needing this World Series win? I think it would be uh, Aaron Judge, uh, just because they haven't been there since 2009. Uh, the Dodgers have been there four times in eight years. Not with Tommy, uh, but you know the uh, but the Dodgers have. I, I think for Aaron Judge, it, it'd be bigger. Uh, Otani signed. You know they both signed long-term contracts. Otani's the first year a ten-year deal. Judge second year of a nine-year deal. But I just think you know everybody's been talking about Judge for so long that would mean probably more to him than the Yankees. They don't tie the Dodgers just because they've been there so often. And uh, But for Otani, a first time on the national stage, he was at WBC uh, a year ago, but it's a different animal. Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman. In any other situation, either of these guys is the top dog on a baseball team. But obviously, when you're teammates with Shohei Otani, it's sometimes hard to stand out. But Mookie enters this matchup with two World Series wins under his belt and Freddie with one. What does another title do for both of their legacies? Well, I think, I think Best will be in the Hall of Fame. He's knocking on that door right now. Uh, he makes that team go. So we'll see about Freddie Freeman. He still has to have a number of good years to do so. Uh, struggling the NLDS in the NLCS just because of that bad ankle. So hopefully for him, those four days will help him uh, get right. So, you know, both those guys are so instrumental by the team, but particularly Mookie Betts. He can play a number of uh, different positions. I think he's the uh, leader of that clubhouse. So uh, I think Mookie Betts back in a big stage is great for baseball. John Carlos Stanton, as we know, he's been a force in these playoffs, but it comes on the heels of a very subpar regular season by his standards, which begs the question whether he's done enough in his career to one day be considered for the Hall of Fame. And he's inching up on 500 home runs. He's got the MVP season in 2017. Would a World Series title um, on top of his postseason performance improve his odds of getting into the Hall, you think? Yeah, definitely. People look at those uh, postseason numbers. Uh, when they look at the Hall of Fame. Five hard home runs these days probably is enough. You'd have to do more. Uh, he's certainly a, uh, a great power hitter, but it's kind of woken up everybody's attention. Nobody's really thinking about uh, Stanton for the Hall of Fame until he's had this great postseason. Now it's Jeff Fable. Hey, that's right. You know, he does have uh, close to 500 home runs. 
So if he has a big uh, postseason or even if the Yankees win the World Series, that goes a long way with the Hall of Fame voters. Got to talk about one more Yankee who for at least the next few weeks doesn't have any doubt about being a Yankee. Um, of course, I'm talking about Juan Soto. I don't know that I've ever seen so much conversation about where a player is going to be next season while they're literally in the World Series. But I'll ask you straight up, Bob, if the Yankees win the World Series, is that enough to convince him to stay? Or do you think he chases every last penny in his new contract no matter what team it's for? I think he chases the last dollar. But I do think he stays with the Yankees. You know, it's almost like having a, you know, you own a mansion. You're only going to have a few bidders for this thing. So, you know, you have the Mets are, aren't interested. Uh, Toronto Blue Jays, they didn't get Otani to accept his money. They'll throw money at him. You know, San Francisco Giants are always looking for that slugger. But I would think he'd stay in New York. I, I think just a few teams would be bidding. Uh, you know, who ever thought he would turn down $440 million from the Nationals three years ago? It would be a wise business business decision. So he should get over 500 this time.